Uh, now, Lee Evans was keen to make a spectacular entrance on the show. A couple of weeks ago, we had a Hugh Jackman fired out of a cannon. Uh, last week, uh, Ewan McGregor jumped over the other guests and we said, Lee, there's no really need. You don't have to do this. He said, no, I insist. I want to do something big. I want a bungee jump onto your show tonight. So with that in mind, Lee, how are you feeling up there? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. You're yeah, good? I've got cauliflower tabs. I'm fine. Absolutely great. You ready to go? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, will yeah. You, will you count him down for me, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. Three, two, one. one. Oh, oh. Whoa, hold on. OK, Lee, how's that? OK, you all right? OK, oh. Get me down, man. Should we get you down? I don't think... Get, Jonathan, get me, what you... <laughs> You okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got gotcha. you. I've got gotcha. you. Okay. We need to get you stable and Put get you unhooked. Seat. Put us on the seat. Put us on the seat. I don't know if I can get you. Get us on the seat, Jonathan. There's not, there's not many places for me to get a good grip on you. <laughs> I've got it. I've got it. Right. Get something. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> He's down. We'll take a break. I'll get Lee out of the harness. Wow. Well, are you okay? Are you all out? Because there was. That was a. It wasn't quite as smooth as we'd intended it I'm to be. I'm getting a fever. How do you sit on the edge of? How do you? How do you? What do you? How do you sit on the edge of this desk? <laughs> how do you sit? How do you sit on the edge of your desk there, John? I'm getting a fever here. What I've, I've got a chair. I don't need you. Yeah, look, that's that's the Wurzels are back on tour again. Lee, <laughs> if you've ever seen Lee live, you know this is uh, this oh. is the energy you get there. You're about halfway through your tour, is that why? Yeah. How are you holding up? Because I know you throw yourself into it, and I know that it must take its toll on you. Your knees and your feet and your back and everything. Does that go? Uh, yeah, yeah, my knees start to go after a while, but then I walk on stage and I'm all right, everything's fine. You know, no, everything's really good. No, I feel all right, I'm, I'm really good. I don't I look good? What's the matter with me? Uh, no, no, <laughs> you, you look fine. I just know I've seen you live and it's a remarkable thing and the amount of energy you put in, I just think, how does he keep going? Because, you know, none Drugs. of us are getting any... <laughs> <laughs> Over the counter, yeah. Over the counter in yeah, boots, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, uh, the, the tour, I just found this out. <laughs> I just found out the tour, this is, uh, they're, they're filming it as they always do on big tours, is it for DVD? This is uh, correct, I believe. This is the first time a comedy tour has been filmed in 3D. In, fr in 3D, in we did it. In 3D, that's in 3D, quite something. You're gonna, I'm going to be in your lounge. So I don't know whether I want you jumping out your TV into my lounge like that because you. Well, I say 3D. I mean, it's the net flat next door 3D. Okay. You know, I'm in 3C. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lee Evans' book is The Life of Lee. Uh, in glue. This oh, is uh, Lee's book is out right now, and it's Lee's story, and it's a great story. It's a great story. This I only know, goes I... up to the age of 18, though. You're gonna, presumably, you're going to carry on after that. Uh, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, okay. yeah. I hope, well, I hope so. It depends yeah. on that, how this one goes, uh, actually. Yeah, there's loads so. I didn't know about you in that. I mean, I knew that you had a sporty background. I didn't know you, you were a boxer for a while. You weren't a bad boxer, were you? No, I was really good. I always came up like, second. Uh, okay. <laughs> Third, if there was a ref. <laughs> But yeah. your dad wasn't a boxer, because he was in showbiz, well, he wasn't was he? Well, so. he was a boxer in the army when okay, we were so he, younger. Yeah, when yeah. he was a kid. Yeah. And then when I was born and all that, we were living in a doctor's surgery, is where we were. That was our living room. And, uh, you know, people come in with flu and colds and all that sort of stuff, because my dad was working over the docks at the time, and then he got into show business a bit later, you know, in the, in the, in the sort of uh, late 60s, Late 60s, 70s. And yeah. he was a singer, and he played instruments. Oh, it was amazing, amazing. So did you go to tour with him? Did you, did you, did you, we is that toured you got all your the time. Of... That's what we did. I mean, that's uh, kind of roughly what the book is about, touring around... Uh, like the working men's clubs, Manchester, Newcastle, Sheffield, uh, Birmingham, and Liverpool. And, they and must be, that must have been pretty different to you now touring and well, doing the Well, you've got to be on your guard. I mean, my mum, was, she's a very witty woman, my mum, and um, I remember sat, sat in a club, this really rough club with my mum all night. I mean, Dad used to do this impression of John Lennon, you know, and he was singing this song, I imagine there's no heaven, all this, and there's a bloke saying, he, he shouted out, he went, he went, that's not like John Lennon. And my mum went, hey, hey, stop, shut your mouth like that, and this bloke went, who do you think you are? She went, Yoko Ono, and Piss off, you know. <laughs> she's a really witty woman, you know, yeah, yeah. you know. Well, she was looking out for your dad as well. Well, yeah, I mean, when we were kids, we had nothing. It was on this sort of council estate. We had nothing. Like, on rent day, um, we had to hide from the rent man. So when the rent man knocked on the window, like, you know, like, my brother was like a... He was a, like a coffee table. <laughs> you know, I was a lamp, do you know what I mean? <laughs> my dad suddenly got down on the... He was like the carpet. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, that was what we did on, on sort of rent day, you know, divided from the rent man. But your dad, this is what I love about the book, he comes across as a real character. I mean, some of the stories about him, they're like... Oh, uh, he's fantastic. What's he's the, such a, a great... Uh, are they, they're all a, true stories? I all guess true you... stories. I mean, like, um, I mean, because in those days, the, cl the clubs were so rough, you know, and we, uh, there was a, a, a particular place up in Liverpool. I'm not sure if it was called the Shakespeare Club, but... I remember one night, this bloke had won the pools <laughs> and he bought this really crap suit, it was like a yellow tartan suit and he sat in the table with all his mates, he thought he'd treat all his mates, you know, but he kept heckling me dad. And in those days you had like a three-piece backing group, it was like piano, bass and drums, but the bass player on this particular night was huge, I mean he was like, sh like this kind of fellow, <laughs> yeah. you know. And this bloke wouldn't stop heckling me dad and then right at the end of me dad's act he thought, right, I'm going to have a go at this bloke, I'm going anyway. So he said, and the bloke went, make me laugh and me dad said, well, let's borrow your suit, you know. So this bloke really set this bloke <laughs> <laughs> and we're all sat in the dressing room. There's me, me mum and me brother all sort of sat there. I'm only like, you know, f uh, about five, six, sort of sat there. But in the corner is this small mousy woman. Just sat there all like this, like really sort of quiet mousy woman like this. So we're all, we're all in the dressing room. For Dad, I can hear all this commotion. This bloke's going nuts. And me Dad comes in the dressing room, right? <laughs> right, he comes in and he slams the door and he goes, I think there's going to be trouble here. I think there's going to be trouble. And we all went, oh, no, you know. And, he, and, and there was a knock on the door. Like that, and my dad went, it's that bloke, it's the bloke from the audience, right? So he said, when that door opens, I'm going to lamp him one. Yeah. Right? So the door opened, and he went like that, and the bloke went straight past him, walked over to the small mousy woman, sat in the corner, and went, you're a slag. You're a slag and a slut, and you're an ugly whore. Like that, right? And he walked over to my dad, and he went, right, I've had a go at your wife. What do you reckon about that? And my dad went, well, it's not my wife. <laughs> And then this big bass player, this big bass player, arrived at the door and he went, well, whose wife is he? He went, is. <laughs> Fantastic. So there's all sorts of stories like that in the book when we were kids, going around the clubs and all that sort of stuff. So how did you stumble into comedy then? Because it wasn't a... It I wasn't stumbled a... into it, I was, uh, you know, in our family, there's always been musicians in our family. My dad always plays loads of in instruments, like, you know, he plays clarinet and sax and, and, uh, and piano and drums and all this. And you just pick it up, you know. I spent loads of time as a kid hanging around musicians and stuff like that. So um, I knew I could play a bit of piano and guitar. And uh, my main trick was to, um, when I played the guitar, I did know how to do this, uh, slip the strap up to my neck. And, and do this, and right. it would go round, round here. You know, that was my yeah. main kind of. So you knew you'd get a laugh with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew I'd get a laugh with that. But I, knew, I, I wanted to be a serious musician. Uh, and but every time I tried to do it, it all everything just went wrong. But it just started to get laughs, and uh, so I did my big neck routine, and that was really, <laughs> really well. Are you all right? Is everybody all right? <laughs> Are you with us? <laughs> Great. Do you still do the neck routine? You don't still do that, ever, do you? <laughs> The what? The neck routine? Yeah, you don't still do that? No. No, I don't, I don't even do that now, no. Okay. Um, so it must be... It must seem strange, though, to be playing these big venues now after that kind of... Isn't kind that of... Weird? That's weird, isn't it? It's coming at me. It's like I'm travelling through loads of ice. You feel like Doctor Who? I do. You'd make a very good Doctor Who. There's Jamie, look, and he's lovely. You love to get a laugh, don't you? Oh, yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really good so you, fun. So you actually, you do stop some, when you're doing, a lot of people, they're doing gigs and obviously they're committed and they're going to do the best job they can. You actually still love being on stage, don't you? You love being in front of a crowd. <sighs> Well, it's kind of where I find a, a safe place. Because in the real world, I'm not really much cop. You're not very comfortable, are you, in, in like social situations and no. things like that? No, you, I mean, I, I've been to, um, you know, weddings and stuff like that. I'm, I'm yeah. no, I'm sort of say the wrong thing. I, I was in a car wheelie once. I'd been, I'd been doing a photo shoot and it was, uh, we were sharing a car with the town. It was me and Jack D and... Lee Evans, and you were really nervy in the car, oh, and yeah. even and you couldn't stand being in the car with us. And I don't think it was just because it was us. I, I think you well, got nervous, and you, you <laughs> <laughs> and you got out early before you said, "I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get out here." Yeah. And then you got there, and then you started kind of almost performing in the street for people. Yeah, I know. It was the weirdest <laughs> thing I've seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think there was any need for you to put a pie out and start collecting money, though. That was out of the way. <laughs> well, 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 that'd be that Yeah, day. some bloke went, I love your monkey. But so you feel, <laughs> so you feel comfortable doing that. So this is something where you feel, OK, I know, I know that our relationship, this is, what, this is the level it's on. You're yeah. laughing, I'm being funny, and that's, I can relax. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I mean, I don't enjoy the before and the after. I don't like the nerves. So I get, get very nervous. do you get nervous Yeah, still? man, I'm like, pacing up and down before but I'm amazed a gig. You, you must know you can do it by now. No, it comes from the old days, just dying on my arse every night. Did you die? You didn't die that often, yeah, did you? Yeah, man, 
every day. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know how I got away with it. I mean, I was doing really crap gigs, like four people in the audience dying on me ass. Yeah. I was beat up, shat at, spat at, chucked out, my car <laughs> stolen. You know, just for a laugh, to wow, steal his on. car. That must be a bad gig if they decide to steal your car. They you tried to steal my car, <laughs> right? It was over, I can't remember, I'm not sure if it was an over in uh, South Wales. And they, but they, it was an old Chevette I paid uh, 20 quid for. Uh, and they tried to steal it, and they're all pushing it away, but it's the, the steering lock's on, so they came back. <laughs> this was the audience or just people in the street? People in the audience. It's so crap, they're stealing his car and they're going, they went, hey, oh, oh. We <laughs> come back okay. with a car. Uh, we're going <laughs> to have to wrap up the interview with because we've got a great performance coming up oh, and yes, you're going to yes. see. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to this. But you, you know, one of the things I love about the book is how lovely the way it is you write about your wife and uh, about Heather. Yeah. Uh, the love she gives you, the support she gives you, right? But uh, you rarely see someone talk about their partners in that kind of way, and, that, and it really is, it, it's very touching. Were you, you were comfortable about sharing that part of yourself? I with can't them? stand the woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait until, she, I wish she'd just leave. No, of course I love her very much, you know. She doesn't understand me, because she's Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, no, she is my, if, with, without my wife, she, I'm not me, basically. Yeah. No, 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 I don't mean it like that. I mean, really, I mean, I'm not me without my wife. But look at me, I'm, a tw I'm an idiot, look. <laughs> and she is my, my, my cock, my rock. My, she's my rock. How old were you when you got married? 18. We've been married now for 28 years. You know, and it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> you see all the blokes going, blimey, blue. <laughs> we were setting the bar high for the rest of us here. Well, I'm going to have to go and say, I love you so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, no, I think she's absolutely fantastic. Lee is a, a charming man, a very funny man. The book's very funny. If you get the chance to see Lee live, you really should grab it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Lee Evans, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. That was great, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you so much, Tony. I love you very much. Thank sit you. down, relax, sit down, relax. We're going to see the, the big show. Thanks to all my guests, of course, uh, Jamie Oliver, Lee Evans is still out here, and coming out in a minute, we've got the fabulous Lady Gaga. Join me on the programme next week if you can. My guests will be David Williams, uh, star, of, <laughs> star of Superbad and Knocked Up, Seth Rogen, and Michael Bublé will be here. Plus, well, there's a Bublé fan right there. Plus, we have music from Coldplay. But now, <laughs> performing you and I, it is the fabulous...